Michelle here with Team Apex Real Estate and today I'm outside of the Dufferin Public House, also known as the Duffy or the Duff. In 2017, the owners converted this old church into the restaurant that it is today. Still keeping its unique charm, the Duffy serves up delicious meals seven days a week. Now let's go inside and talk to the owner, Chris. Yeah, so I've basically been in restaurants and bars for a long time since I was 18. So that's quite a while and I really love it. I love watching people celebrate, have a good time, uh, you know, the birthdays, the anniversaries. Uh, even when people come in, they're having a bad day or that kind of thing, you know, we hopefully talk to them a bit, cheer them up and they leave feeling a little better. Um, I think it's, it's an amazing thing because for Shelburne, this is where everybody meets, you know, somebody new to town comes here makes new friends, um, gets involved in the community, gets introduced to lots of new people. And I, I really love watching that. And then uh, I love the fact that in Shelburne, I can really get to know my customers. So we know everybody really well, they become friends and that's really an awesome feeling, right? So yeah, I love it. Um, so we've been in business, this would be five years. I don't know if this year counts because COVID has been a little crazy. But normally, you know, we're, I'm really grateful. We're very busy. The patio's rocking in the summers and uh, in the winters, you know, it's Shelburne people still come out when we have a band or a karaoke night or whatever. Uh, you know, we get a full house and it's a great crowd and everybody's having fun. And um, yeah, basically uh, five years, it, it seems like no time because uh, I really love what I do, I guess. So what made me choose Shelburne would be basically, uh, yeah, since my daughter Penelope was born uh, 16 years ago, I've been up in the area and I really love the community and uh, I think it's awesome. I think we needed a place to go out and listen to some music and have fun and somewhere with great food, you can sit down, have a nice drink and relax. You have friends up somewhere nice, you can bring them. So that was really the idea and it's worked out very well. I'm really, really grateful for the support we've had. Uh, you know, for me, I guess, the main thought was um, we have such an awesome community of people here in town and getting everybody together and that sort of thing um, just really made sense. I think we needed it and that this building's probably, to me, one of the coolest buildings on Main Street so I thought it was really good to have it back open to the public and I knew the patio would be pretty rocking once we got it finished. Uh, you know, I think many things. The first thing is uh, homemade fresh food. We try and buy as much locally as we can. We do uh, everything homemade from scratch. We don't deep fry things. They're a little healthier. And we don't use pre-boxed, frozen, factory-made food, which is unfortunately the way a lot of restaurants in the food industry are being pushed in that direction. So Barb, like burgers, for example, makes them every day from scratch by hand. And they're amazing. They're way better that way. I think it's a much healthier way to eat and uh, I think the taste is also <laughs> a lot better. So basically, um, yeah, everything we do is like our own sauces, our own creative twist on whatever the food might be. And you know it's made with love here in the kitchen. And I guess the other thing we offer is like community and fun. So like Thursday night, you know, trivia night is awesome. We get a great crowd, everybody's having fun. On the weekends we have bands or karaoke or like We'll do 80s night and it's Shelburne. Everybody dresses up, I give away prizes. People really put in the effort, come out, have fun. So like we offer um, both a little bit of nightlife for Shelburne and then fresh homemade awesome food. And uh, we do have a kid's menu. So a lot of people ask me about kids. We love families, we love kids. So, you know, that's, that's a big part of it too, yeah. Something new and exciting that we are doing is uh, sushi. So I think it's uh, time for Shelburne to have a place to go out to eat, have a nice glass of wine, try some sushi. It is our own twist on sushi. So we're not using all of the traditional ingredients that you get in a sushi restaurant. We're doing our own spin on it with, again, like our own homemade sauces. Everything's a little different, but I think exciting and really flavorful. So it's gonna be good. Where do I see the Duffy in five years? I, I see us growing with the community. I have some more plans and uh, more exciting things I wanna do with the space, with this beautiful building and the patio, etc. So I think what we'll do is we're just gonna keep refining the menu, keep getting creative events and fun things and reasons for people to come out and enjoy themselves. So new members of the community, you know, they have a great place to come, make new friends, 
and all of our regular friends who we love, you know, just like live together for the next five years. We actually had a really amazing year. So in the Reader's Choice Awards for all of Dufferin this year, we won Diamond in a lot of categories, which is the highest award, so number one. We got bar, cocktails, family restaurant. We won for burger, finally, with our homemade burgers. Karaoke bar, live entertainment, so the bands and, and that kind of thing. We won outdoor patio, which I'm really happy about, actually, because um, I'm super proud of our patio. Overall service, which is amazing. Uh, pub, obviously, I guess that's really good because we are a pub. Uh, we won for ribs, uh, sports bar takeout, and we won wings, which is amazing because we don't deep fry our wings. We, um, you know, we don't deep fry our wings. We do a double roasting method. It's way healthier, and actually, uh, I'm really glad some people love it. And I think it's our homemade sauces that help a little bit in that category. My favorite thing on the menu, that's basically impossible to answer because actually, I love everything we serve. I mean, we wouldn't serve it if I didn't love it and if the chef didn't love it. So I don't know, that, that's a hard one. I gotta say, like literally everything. I've been eating here for five years and I'm not bored of any of it yet. My favorite place to travel would be here in Ontario, actually. Uh, we've been all over the place, uh, a lot of different countries and everything, but I love it here at home. I think Ontario's got so much to offer and I would say that for me, like this COVID year, we did a lot of just traveling around, exploring Ontario, and I wasn't disappointed. I really love it here. I think cottage country is amazing. So yeah, Ontario, cottage country, that would be my favorite place to travel to. My favorite thing about Shelburne is the people, for sure. Uh, there is so many amazing people here. This is an incredible community. Uh, we have so much support, and we've made so many friends here in the pub. I have so many inspiring stories with the COVID from everybody who comes in that I know so well. I feel really grateful to live here actually. Uh, it's an amazing place to live.